Good evening and welcome back to another beer review. I'm Ben the Beer Lad and today I'm going to be doing a what I think is a new brewer for the channel. Uh, definitely for, I'm pretty sure me as well. Uh, Buxton. It's Buxton Brewery and it's Axe Edge, a Indian Pale Ale or IPA if you want to do it. And it is 6.8%. I didn't actually know that, I didn't look. Um, and all that is said on the front and then on the side there. This is one that I got from Asda, um, probably cost me three pounds, something like that. It was on an offer, four for three, so I picked it up. I've not had it before. Um, I thought it'd be an interesting little try. Um, it says on the side, um, our flagship IPA brewed relentlessly hoppy since 2011. Um, and then it says visit our bars and breweries in the heart of the Peak District uh, National Park. And then that's about it. It says all that there. Cannot is quite nice. I'm assuming it is the Peak District. It says England, but I'm assuming that is the Peak District. So that, you know, or some an artist interpretation of the Peak District. Um, but it looks nice. Um, but besides that, there's no other guff on it at all. Um, which is a bit of a shame. I was kind of looking forward to some good stuff. I was looking at the best before. It's it's got till next year. It's fine. Um, but anyway, with all that said, let's crack it open, shall we, and see what we've got. There we go. Yeah, never had Buxton. Pretty sure, at least. Um, so I don't know what to expect. Whether they're good, bad, okay. Anyway, so we've got ourselves a nice tropical juice looking beer um the camera makes it look quite bright yellow straw yellow but it's not it's quite burnt orange for me uh head is there we go um compact white bubbles it looks like an ipa not an out the ordinary so let's get a smell shall we see what we get wow that's actually really packed full of fruit, like some mangoes, oranges, grapefruit, tangerines, like, it's, it's all ripe fruit, plums, it's, it's all some form of stone fruit, maybe peaches. I can smell like a, also a malty flavour as well, well not flavour, but a, a malty smell, something quite savory and quite not fruity and sweet i want to say savory but savory isn't the right, the right word that smells lovely let's get a mouth of body carb shall we carbonation's really really light um body is medium and it's got a nice oily slippery texture to it if you will that's so that's good so far let's get a, a big old taste shall we cheers oh that's, that's really good that is that's i don't want to say all over the place because it's not but it's got a nice flow of flavor um Right, so it starts off really fruity, really lively, full of flavour. Got the tangerines, oranges, grapefruit, citrus flavour, with the, the sort of stone fruit, peach, plum, pardon me, and mangoes all blended into this nice, what, what I'd say tropical um, flavour. And it moves into a, a, a woody, piney flavour. Uh, earthy, quite like I said, I want to say savory, but it's not savory. It's like a, a nice, just well, yeah, not non sweet flavor. So I'm just gonna call it savory, um, savory flavor. And it finishes with a nice, slightly uh, malty, um, well, finish, um, which is fairly bitter. It's not bitter but it's it's on the way to being bitter and that 
it's brilliant. It's really nice, that. 6.8. I wouldn't be able to tell. But I think that is a really, really good, really, really good little IPA. I'll say little, but you know, I'm actually really glad I picked this up. Right, so I think on that note, I'm going to go away and enjoy this because, it, like I said, it's really nice. So, Buxton Brewery's Axe Edge um, India Pale Ale um, out of 10. Um, I think as IPAs go, I'm, I'm going to give this a 10. I really, really like this one. I'll happily, more than happily pick it up again, you know whenever I see it um, if I ever find this on tap I'd love to try it on tap um, so if you have had this before please let me know let me know what you think if you like it if you don't if you've not had it before I'll leave a link to Buxton's website down below but I got mine from Asda for about £3 I can't remember it was on a deal um, you can get one there so wherever you want to get it if you like the video though thumbs up thumbs down all that usual stuff if you want to subscribe consider doing so because the show must go on etc etc so on and so forth and i'll see you later bye